Det er Bøge Larsens blog. Jeg håber, du vil glæde sig over den video, jeg præsenterer i dag. I have now, on August 15, 2023, been creating videos for YouTube for 8 months. It was a hard beginning. I both had to learn how to use video editing software. I will come back to that in a later video and to find out how to upload my videos to YouTube. YouTube and YouTube Studio can be difficult for newcomers because it has many features and options. Here are some tips that can help you navigate and understand YTS better. Uploading a finished video to YouTube is done through YouTube Studio. This program is easy to download. Just go to Google and write Download YouTube Studio. Find a download place of the many which are offered, where you can see it is Google offering you a download. There are often other sites that are also offering downloads, but they confuse you to download other programs that one is not interested in at the moment. Google's download place is looking like in the screen picture, also called the screen dump, I just made. YouTube Studio is free to download and use. When you have given your email and made a password for YouTube Studio, in the following, I call it YTS, you will see a screen like the one I am showing you now. This is my YTS screen by today. A few hours ago, I uploaded a video on how one can live until one is 100 years old and still be attractive. The so-called thumbnail of that video is shown here. A thumbnail is the small picture that you can see on a video if you search them and watch them on YouTube. It is said that the thumbnail is very important for your video. It might make a viewer select or ignore your video. From the beginning, I decided to use the same thumbnail on all my videos. You see this thumbnail up in the right corner of all my videos, also on this one. My theory was that my viewers would then easily recognize me and my channel, as it is called. But I have started to experiment with other thumbnails. In the video, I pointed to, I used a picture of a very, very good looking model who is 87 years old. I would be glad if some of my viewers would comment on if I should stick with one thumbnail or also use other pictures as my thumbnails. And staying at the left side of the picture of the YTS start screen, you can see the number of viewers. There are only two so far for the video about age, but one cannot expect more after only a few hours. In the middle, you can see that I at present have 6,082 subscribers, a number that is happily growing day by day. To the right, we can see the different instruction videos and ideas that YTS offers. There is enough for several evenings. YouTube naturally wants that many and many different people upload their videos. They have, even in 2023, made it easier for viewers with only 500 subscribers to earn money from their videos. If you are in that category, you can easily find videos on YouTube, and I do not mean YTS, about these new rules. All the way to the right and at the top, there is this place where you can tap create. Click that and YTS asks you where it can find a video that you have made and want to publish. Naturally, you cannot upload other people's videos. They have a copyright to their videos. I mentioned video editing programs. They are fine if you want to make a little more complicated video. I use one called Filmora. But you do not have to have a video editing program. If you have a normal mobile phone, it can record videos. If you look at the file names of such videos, they often end in MP4. You can publish everything you like and want to share with the world or just your friends. It does not need to be very trimmed and without faults. Untrimmed videos can be a charm. One of the videos on YouTube, which I admire most, has the general title Inside Russia. It is also one of the most watched videos on YouTube, and I have made a video about the producer. He does not edit anything away. His videos start with him checking his microphone and camera and then go on telling why Putin will soon lose the war in Ukraine. The most slick and well-edited videos are, as I see it, boring. One does not feel that there is a human person behind. So, do not worry. Bring the video you want and let the viewers decide if they like it. Now, if we dig deeper, then look to the left. Here is a long list of options to click. On top, 
the red one, nearly like a Danish flag, is where we are now. Clicking the next one will show the videos you have published. Then comes one with a little thumbnail showing different columns. It is called analytics. It is interesting if you want to see who is watching your videos. I checked in here to look at my videos. Here it says, to the left, that I, in the last 28 days, have got 4.8 thousand views, meaning people watching my videos. In the middle is shown that I earned 1.1 thousand watch hours, how much time did these people spend on my videos, and to the right is shown that I got 1.9 thousand subscribers in the period. Watch hours are important if one wants advertisements on one's videos. One needs 4.000 watch hours and 1.000 subscribers before YouTube will allow that. And with advertisements come a little income. So, please watch my videos. There is a lot more to study under analytics. Here I show where my videos are watched worldwide and for how long. Let me add here that there are programs that, for a small fee, make subtitles in up to 10 languages to your video. India, Russia, Vietnam, and the United States top the list of my viewers. Surprise for me when I saw this first. In the last column, you can see that viewers from India drop away soon, but those from the US and Vietnam stay on. You can also find in which cities your viewers are. I was surprised to see that I seem to have one viewer in Vladivostok, in the far east of Russia, on the opposite side of the globe. And you can see how old your viewers are, where I was happy but also surprised to see that most of my viewers are not of my age, but mainly younger than 40. All this data helps you find out what kind of videos you should make and for whom. I am not finished with this thinking. Thank you for watching my video today, and again, again, please subscribe. I need your support to go on. I, and others, would also be happy to hear your comments on this video and on YouTube making.